What is going on guys? Today we are back with another car video. Today we purchased the uh, 3D car welcome light. So this is what it says on the box. This is basically the uh, projector um, that replaces the puddle lights in your car. Uh, I'll show you when I install the product. So when you open up the door, you'll see it on the floor shining your uh, logo, your car logo. So right here, this is what it comes with. Bought it on eBay. Made in China, obviously. 3D shadow light. Let's unbox this bad boy. Mine came with these weird wires. Not too sure what to use these for. I guess we'll find out when we try to install the lights. I'll uh, be sure to report back as well. The light itself. I don't know, another one of these weird wires. So, these are the uh, puddle light replacements with the uh, projector beams to project your logo on the floor so these are supposed to basically plug and play replace your existing puddle lights all right so this is pretty much the unboxing experience itself obviously it comes in a pair for both your passenger and driver side all right, so before we go to install this product, I would recommend using uh, these plastic budget tools. I got these when I got some uh, iPhone replacement screens, but they, obviously if you don't have these, you can try to use a uh, flathead screwdriver. Just make sure to use some Scott towel on top of the edge here so that you don't scratch your door. And, or if you don't have that, I mean, you can always try to use a plastic knife with again, a layer or two of Scott towels on the tip to try to protect the uh, finish on the door to not scratch it off. All right, so you have the tools, you have your replacement parts. Now let's go on to replace the uh, projector lights with these uh, projector beams. Let's go. All right, so now this is the part where I show you guys how to install the lights. So either you need, you need the tool or you can use a plastic knife or whatsoever. As long as it's not too sharp, just be sure to put some uh, paper towel on, on, the, on the tip so you don't scratch uh, your door. Now, let's move on to the car here. A little bit windy outside, sorry about that. But as you can see, you wanna see the light over here. All right, so what you wanna do, you wanna pry from, from the top. So uh, from, the, from the edge that is near the door, door edge. All right, so near the front of the car, sorry, but uh, so what you want to do, stick your tool in there and just pry. So don't go too hard, it will, it will eventually come out. There we go, you can hear a pop and it comes out by itself like that. So when it comes out with the kit, it actually came with the two wires as I showed you. What you want to do is simply plug and play. So I can see here, I'm gonna show you guys. Just plug in the two tips, plug the other two ends of the other connector, like just like that. Alright, so I hope you guys can see well. Two wires plug and play. Plug in two, two ends on the other end. The uh, two other sockets to uh, the light sockets. Like that. And then what you want to do, simply stuck it, stuck it back in. Like so, stuck it back in. And your install is finished. All right, so that's a pretty much easy install. And now I'm gonna skip over the clip where I show you the lights at night. Obviously the lights won't work when it's uh, too, uh, too bright out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to somewhere dark and uh, I'm gonna show you the lights. All right, so now we transition to a more darker environment. I'm gonna show you guys the light at night or in a darker environment, let's see. Here it is guys, Ace by Oko, shining on the door. The edge is, is a little bit blurry, but still cool. The A, bright red, 